السلام علیکم ویور مائی نیم از نعیم شہزاد اینڈ یو آر واچنگ آر سی ورلڈ یوٹیوب چینل ان دس ویڈیو آئی ایم گوئنگ ٹو ٹیل یو اباؤٹ آئس ریزن آن ریفریجریٹر سیکشن لائن یس آئی ول ٹیل یو ان دس ویڈیو وائی آئس کمز آن ریفریجریٹر سیکشن لائن اور وائی آئس کمز آن ریٹرن ٹیوب آف اے ریفریجریٹر لائن آئی ول آلسو شو یو پریکٹیکلی ان دس ویڈیو ہاؤ یو کین فکس اٹ اینڈ ہاؤ یو کین ریموو آئس فرام سیکشن لائن This refrigerator is charged with R134A refrigerant as you can view on your screen and here I want to explain you one thing clearly that the R134A refrigerator running pressure should be shown on low pressure manifold gauge after completing its cooling between 0 to 2 psi. Let me check it what is showing this. I have connected my line with low pressure manifold gauge. And now I will also connect my line from pin side with this gas charging valve. Let me show you too what is showing on manifold gauge. You can view on your screen it is showing 4 to 5 psi running pressure on a low pressure manifold gauge. Let me also show you its cooling from freezer side. You can view on your screen it is performing well cooling in a freezer portion. <laughs> There is excellent cooling in a freezer portion. And now let me also show you its a refrigerator portion cooling. You can view on your screen it is performing well cooling even in a refrigerator portion. And this refrigerator is running from previous 4 to 5 hours. But after passing 4 to 5 hours after its running it is still showing 4 to 5 psi running pressure on low pressure manifold gauge which means it is over gas charging after completing its cooling its running pressure should be 0 to 2 psi so i will release some quantity of refrigerant from this refrigerator Now I will close its valve and again check it what is showing now. It is still showing 3 psi running pressure on low pressure manifold gauge. So I will release more pressure. And now it has become on a 2 psi running pressure. Now look at your screen that how ice will disappear from your refrigerator suction line. You can view on your screen the ice has started to melt from your refrigerator suction line. Slowly slowly it is disappearing from your refrigerator return tube. You can clearly watch on your screen the ice is melting slowly slowly from your refrigerator suction line. After releasing extra PSI of refrigerant who was charged by a technician into this refrigerator. This procedure may be take your 20 to 25 minutes to fix it. As you are watching on your screen, the ice is melting slowly slowly and this time it has melted till to here. Here I will wait for melting this ice completely from suction line. And after passing 5 minutes more, the ice has completely melted from suction line. You can view on your screen the ice has completely disappeared from your return tube of refrigerator and this time manifold gauge is showing only 2 psi running pressure. Now I will remove my low pressure manifold gauge and line from refrigerator and will fix its dead cap so the refrigerant cannot be leaked from here. In this way you can remove ice from your refrigerator suction line by watching this video step by step. Hope you will definitely enjoy this video. If you like it, give it one like please. Also share with your other friends and don't forget to subscribe our AC World YouTube channel for more related videos on exact time. Take care. Allah Hafiz.